So there are a lot of soldering tutorials online, and that's where I learned to solder. Sure it's where a lot of people learn to solder. I mean, you actually learn to solder by actually practicing, which is the best way. You learn pretty fast, too, and also having an actually decent temperature control iron helps. And most people say, well, when do I use temperature? Well, it just so happens I have an answer. I'm sure there's many more. But normally, I use, let's see, where is it? Right here. Spark fun leaded solder in these tubes. It works great. It's a lot better than anything you'll get at Radio Shack, which is terrible. It's awful. Um, but recently, I got this. It's unleaded solder. But it's actually, uh, it's like 98% tin, 2% silver. And I have to turn this, this soldering iron up all the way for it to actually melt the solder and get it to work right, because it's got a higher melting point. And I also use flux with it, because I don't think it has an internal flux core. And even if it did, it's 20 years old. So, it is, uh, I think solder actually goes dead. And I think spark fun has a tutorial, or not a tutorial, uh, an article on um, on aging solder, and so that's when you can use temperature control the irons also for ICs. If I actually remember, which I almost never do, I turn down the temperature a bit. So um, there's that. But there's a lot of tutorials online, and they tell you they they teach you good, but um, they have some misinformation. So I'm going to go over some of the common stuff. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, as always, I'm not very experienced with this, but, um, I'll try my best. So, anyways, one of the most common things they tell you is to leave the iron on the connection for too long. Not more than two or three, even four seconds. That is plenty of time. None of this ten second, five second, five seconds is okay if it's like a a big battery clip that's big metal, lots of heat sinking for it, you know. But, um, generally not more than two or three seconds is plenty. And they tell you to add globs and globs of solder. You don't need very much solder. A very little solder is okay. Like, do I have an example? Yeah, here. This, it's, it's extremely corroded. But, um, y there's not much solder on that at all. Let me see. magnifying glass. Um, yeah, but I'd show you. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Not much solder. You don't need much solder at all. So don't add these globs and globs. Don't, don't need to add globs and globs of solder. It's not necessary. So, there's that, and then they also tell you some misinformation. I've heard some saying that when the fumes are impurities boiling off, I'm some said that it's actual lead boiling off. Um, that's not true. Lead boils at like 1,600 degrees, I think is what I remember correctly, although I'm probably wrong. Um, so it's not lead boiling off, it's actually the flux inside boiling. Um, it won't give you cancer unless it's above 800 degrees, at which point the lead actually, like, sort of goes into the fumes some um, more. So try to keep below 800 degrees. I don't see a reason why you need to go that high. But, um, so, yeah. So it's not the impurities. And, um, it's not harmless, though. I mean, it won't give you cancer. But, um, it will give you asthma, so, definitely. I just use, well, you, all you need to do is get a computer fan. You can get them anywhere. I have two, you know, and, or even a regular big fan will do. And just hook it up, and this is the sucking end right here, and this is the blowing end. And just solder, like, if this is my third hand, right, I put the fan right next to it. And it works just great. I don't get any fumes, and it, and I don't even have a filter on it. It's just a regular fan, and it just blows it away, and I don't get anything. So, it, yeah, so there's a tip for you. Works great, so I've heard that. So, um, generally, you just watch a couple soldering tutorials, and you'll do fine, um, at least for play to through hole. I'm beginning to get into surface mount, but I don't really have any surface mount parts to solder other than those surface mount LEDs on the thing I just showed you. 
It's actually a watch from Kenneth Finn again. I turned this thing into a watch, although for some reason that one doesn't work. I, I think it's probably because the crystal lead is broken. I don't know. Let's do some debugging on, on camera. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but the crystal lead on the crystal has actually snapped. So that's probably why it doesn't actually work, because that's actually long. Um, so that's probably the problem there. But, um, yeah, I do have a successful one. I could show you some other time. I actually sold a couple, you know, uh, just a couple, like, a couple for, like, ten bucks or something. Um, so, but yeah, that's pretty much everything for today. I'm, I'm already, I'm getting at a loss for content. I don't know, I don't want to do basic tutorials. I can't do tutorials very well. Uh, I just like talking. And plus, we didn't even have any science this week. Gosh, um, what can we do for science? Oh, yes, the Hadron Collider Wrap. Search Hadron Collider Wrap. I'll link it in the description. It is great. I've put it on my iPod. It's amazing. It's about the CERN's Hadron Collider in uh, France. The big one, actually. It goes into Switzerland as well. And they this um, Alpine Cat, I think, is the YouTube one, rapped about it, and it's really good. It's good, and some people are saying, like, uh, yeah, and some of the stuff in there, like the Higgs boson, is just theory, but it's, it's good. So, watch it. If you don't like it, whatever. I like it. It's very entertaining, at least. So I think that is it for this video. If you guys have any ideas for content, I don't know if you want to see about Spark Fun's um, capacitance meter, we could talk about that. Um, talk more about laser tag. I added sensors on the sides. Um, talk more about multimeters. Um, talk more about my power supply. We can talk more about I don't know all the junk out there. Old test projects here. Um, many suggestions. Um, and let me know how you like the audio and the, just the general style of it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what to do. You know, I'm, I can't think of what to do. And as you probably found out by waiting different amounts of times between these, these aren't happening at any regular schedule of in time. You know, just random. Random time whenever I feel like it, so...